what is going on guys so as you can see I'm on the pity Ta-ta. one last video on the pit bike as I promised because I have a story to tell you and uh, thought I'd do a bit off-roading obviously because it's the pit bike but two just to get kind of like just a bit of somewhat training because I plan on getting a bigger dirt bike very soon I'm not sure what this mat's all about but I'm gonna use it to get up here now I am taking it easy just for vlogging purposes we can get up that so yeah I have a story to tell but we'll do that when we get onto the flat I just want to do a bit of fucking wheelies from first to second gear it's absolutely madness love it <laughs> so I've been working on this pit bike for ages now just getting it running again and it's running better than ever now like just changing from first to second gear and it and it wheelies it's just it's crazy back brake is very very sharp like turn it a bit and start skidding as you can see it's got a nice power band to it in first and second gear you can just pop it over things like that <laughs> yeah it, it nippy thing it's mad there it is but I'm definitely not an off-roading kind of person but I want to get into it because I love it absolutely love off-roading can we get up there and get on the other side that's a drop and a half so yeah the pity if you've never seen the pit bike and you're new to the channel it's a little 125 Stomp Demon X, I think, pit bike. I've had some good videos on it. There'll be cards during this video in the right hand corner that you can check out if you want to see more videos from the pit bike. I am selling this beast, so if you're interested, hit me up on Facebook or whatever. We'll see what we can do. But um, yeah, it's fucking great fun. Obviously, I'm not thrashing it about because I'm talking. I can't do two things at the same time because I'm my man. Let's see if we can thrash up here. That was my pap, so I got blur his face. Yeah, the power on this now is like so much better than what it was earlier, like the last time I went on it. Yeah, basically, I am instead on it, and I already have sold it technically, but they brought it back to me now. As I said, stay tuned because I will be talking about that later on in the video. But for now, I just want to have some fun and do a bit of practicing of some off roading because I am terrible at off roading. I'd get some mad air off that. Isn't this lush though? Yeah, it may look like summer right now, but uh, it's April. <laughs> and it is absolutely gorgeous out. I'm in a fucking t-shirt chair. Really want to get into some uh, off-roading, so I am selling this. And I'm thinking about selling the Grom and getting uh, a dirt bike of some sort. So we'll see what, if, if, if it happens. And if you want to see some off-roading stuff, because I would love to do it. I love getting muddy and shit. Right, time to get the massive hill. Piece of piss. Yeah, it's really not massive. <laughs> I always fall off the back of this fucking thing. It's not my grip on the fucking seat, that's the only thing I find. Stump. I love it.
first Capara, are you ready? Love it. It is going to be blurred in this video, unfortunately, because my papa is with me, just in case. Because this is a project. I love power wheeling this thing. I will be thrashing it about very soon, I promise, guys. Yep, it wheelies from second to third. Uh, from first to second, even. Just because... to happen today. It had to happen today. <laughs> oh, the grass is wet. It's fucking fast, buddy. So this is proof that this thing is running and it's running amazing. You can see how fast this thing is in the dirt, man. It's fucking crazy. That was a wheelie. Go down here. I ain't got my motocross helmet on, I've just got my normal helmet on because I hadn't set up the camera or anything. So I don't want to batter it, batter it too much. But this thing is running so sweet. And I fucking love it. It fucking flies, it is mad. I fucking hurts my ass. Completely different to the drums. Right, we're going this way. <laughs> ah, stick those! Oh, really? Wanna go? So yeah, let me talk about this story then. So basically, I have this pit bike for sale. I had it up. I had sat on it with everything, so the super motor wheels, uh, I had a wiring loom and fucking everything for this thing. Look at it. Uh, it is running so good. But I had it up for sale and this guy was like, uh, can I come see it? And I was like, absolutely, you know. There's nothing wrong with this bike. So I took it out to this car park and I thrashed about on it for about 20 minutes. No issues. I was fucking loving it. I was changing for a second because but when we first got it, it was kind of, it wasn't running great. And we tweaked it all up had it running absolutely amazing like after the pit bike thing uh after it broke a little bit we fixed it all up and it was so good um i kind of wanted to keep it but i couldn't let's go look at this view man because I, I don't have the space for it anymore the mint thing man it's got a big wheel conversion on it uh as i said you'll be able to see some videos that i'll throw up of it running and the pit bike video, you haven't seen, uh, the paintball video, we haven't seen that. That was so much. That's so much fun to record. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, 20 minutes. I started running it for, loving it. He came along. He had a go on it. He was he, like he loved it as well. He he really enjoyed having a go on it. He said, right, I'm picking it up tomorrow. I was like, fucking awesome, yeah. So he did. He came back the next day. I wasn't there. I was at Fowler's. He paid for it, he took it out, and he literally took it out instantly to the fields. And he ragged the shit out of it. He, I don't know what he was doing with it, but he must have been doing some fucking mad hill climbs and revving the balls out of it. The wheel's falling off. I was like, how the fuck have you managed to pull, like, destroy the wheels? Um, he goes, is there bolts meant to be here? I was like, he, uh, yeah, that's holding the sprocket on. Um, so what he had done, and admittedly, we must have tightened the chain too much after swapping the wheels over from the supermotor wheels. Um... And with this fat ass on it, tightened up even more, and then him ragging the shit out of it, put so much strain on the sprocket that it sheared the bolt. Like, they were destroyed. But it was an easy fix, but he was like, I want my money back. And we were like, well, you're the one that broke it, and you'll have the audacity to bring it back. Are you mad? But we were like, right, no, we're good people. We'll fix it up. It ain't going to cost us a lot to fix up. We'll just get some new 
chain tensioners, change it up because they were bent as well. Some new uh, sprocket bolts, the sprocket was absolutely fine. Fixed it all up and as you can see now it is running absolutely amazing. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to get back on the pit bike. If you've enjoyed this video, I know it's been weird, but I promised a pit bike video and you got one. So you can't complain. All right. I will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Don't try and wheel it. He's finished on it. It's fucking boiling as well, man. This is fucking April. Look at it. Fucking gorgeous. It is savage, isn't it? It's fun though. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that it power wheelies. The back brake is so savage, you just start sliding out instantly. And being on a dirt is great. I love this thing. It's so much fun just thrashing this thing.